Hi everybody, welcome back to the beautiful Sipsco Coast. We are back. Look at this place. God, it is coming along pretty well. We have uh, Bagelsville, which has been redone and is looking uh, pretty spiffy. Uh, it's got like this other stuff on the side here. It's like Bagelsville West. Uh, we've got some traffic problems going into this like really dense sort of uh, part of Shoposaurus Rex. We've got this like under bagel thing in Bagelsville with all these underground tunnels and stuff. Uh, we got to do some more stuff with tunnels uh, later on. Uh, but today I think, uh, first things first, I think we're going to actually get around to revamping Satansville. Uh, because it's long overdue. It's been a little while. It's looking a bit sparse. We got to fill up some of the spaces here as well uh, in and around Bagelsville. Uh, but if we can get Satansville looking um, just right, I think that'll be great. So, uh, let's get started. We will start revamping Satansville. Uh, and we're going to have to do the same thing we did uh, for everything else. We're going to have to like move all the services out. Uh, we're going to have to convince everybody uh, who lives in Satansville to go out to the uh, altar and uh, do some sacrifices all at the same time, which generally the people of Satansville do not like to do. Okay, they like their privacy. They like to do all of their sacrificial stuff in private, and normally they come to here to do it. But today, uh, we're gonna force them all out uh, at the same time, so that when they come back, hopefully they won't realize that anything has changed in their fair town, uh, and they should be fine. All right, great, so the Satansville Sacrificial Park we will move it. We'll move it somewhere very far away so that they actually have to like almost go out of town um, to use it. Look, we're gonna move it over here, okay? So all of these people now have to drive all the way out to there from Satansville. And by the time they make the drive back, um, all of their houses will be replaced with all of their valuables in the exact same spot and everything. And everything should be fine. All right, great. Let's get ripping. Okay, first thing to go is the Satansville sign. We're gonna remake the entrance to Satansville uh, somewhere like along here somewhere. So we're just gonna move the Satansville sign uh, to here for now, just sort of out of the way uh, because we wanna change like some of these roads, I think. Probably wanna change like uh, a lot of these roads here. Maybe we don't want to have a road coming straight down here. Maybe you have it like a little bit more central and coming down into here. Maybe we should do like some sort of design for Satansville. Something that really sort of um, resonates with the people of Satansville. All right, services are all out of Satansville now. I put them up here. So we should just be able to actually start um, bulldozing the roads in Satansville down. We're gonna really start from scratch with old Satansville here. Um, we're gonna, well, not totally from scratch, because obviously the um, houses and the um, objects inside those houses will still remain intact. So it's not completely from scratch, but mostly I think it'll be from scratch. I'm not going to use that node tool again this time either, because last time that was a total disaster. So I'm just going to do it all manually with the old bulldozer here. Get rid of as much of this crap as I can. I'm going to get rid of all the roads, and then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to get rid of all of the houses as well. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Okay. All of the people of Satansville have gone to work, and we're busy packing up all of their houses <laughs> so that we can redeploy them again after. Oh, there's a couple of parks and things down here as well. Okay, fine. We'll see to all of that. Fine. Oh, shit. There's a metro station there, too. We need to be careful of this metro station. We may need to put it back. Okay. Let's be careful of the metro station. Okay, finally. All right, so Satansville, as we know it, has been completely demolished. We've taken everything out, except for this, like, one little house. A couple of trees left over here, too. The metro line um, and uh, the metro station have been moved as well, so there's, like, a little bit of a, of a gap there, but we can fix that after. That's fine. All right, let's go for something sort of symbolic of Satansville. A lot of people said to me uh, when I first made Satansville all that time ago, they said, Sips... What the hell, man? You missed a trick. You could have actually made, like, a really cool pentagram. And I never bothered to come back and make a cool pentagram. But now, I feel like I can. So, actually, Satansville, we're going to have it, like, shaped like a pentagram. If I can do it. It's going to be tough. But we'll, we'll see. We'll try anyway. Okay, so we definitely want this to be, like, down to here. And then, like, out to here. So, that's what? Like, three boxes. 
two, three boxes, and then another two, three boxes. Okay, so that we should we should be able to make this perfectly circular. Okay, this is the this is the goal here. All right, is this perfectly circular? It's so far so good. Oh my god, will this actually work? Oh my god. Okay, well look it. It's not like perfect. It's not perfectly circular, but it'll do. Holy crap, that is fantastic. Okay, so now we have like a really big circle here for um, Satansville. Okay, this is like just this huge ring road uh, that just goes around Satansville, which is like, well, pretty cool actually. All right, and now we want some straight lines. Okay, so we want to have like something like uh, up here-ish to come down like this, okay? And we're gonna draw this the same way that you would draw it on paper. So you have to like do it like that and like this. I don't think it's gonna be like perfect. Oh shit, look, it's trying to curve and stuff now. The hell is it trying to do? Do not curve, please. It might be hard with the old uh, lines. I'm a bit lost now too. I'm not sure what I need to be. Oh my God, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, uh, wait, like this, yes, and then like, sort of like this. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look terrible. Is it meant to be like upright like that? Or is it meant to sort of be like, look, if you look at this one, I guess it kind of does look, okay. It's fine, look, okay. So we now have a uh, five point, a five pointed pentagram now for the residents of Satansville. And I mean, you, as you can imagine, these people are just absolutely losing their shit left, right, and center right now. Uh, we need some sort of clever way to get people into the center of the pentagram without sort of like uh, making it look um, uh, not like a pentagram, if you see what I mean. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like another road that sort of like goes along the outside here. And then it could connect up, like, maybe with some, like, secret underground. Because, I mean, this these this is where the Satanists live. And they are sort of, like, secretive and underground and stuff anyways, right? So, we'll have, like, a... Oh, my God, that's going to be impossible. It is going to be so hard to build a road that, like, follows it around on the outside. We might not do it, actually. I think what we'll do is we'll try to, but we may not be able to. But we'll try our best to do it. And then we'll have like some sort of like underground road system that sort of like links all of this stuff up so that people can get up and around. And then we can have like some trees around the outside so that it really like sort of looks like a, a big Satan symbol from like high up. Holy shit. Okay, this can be fantastic. All right, let's get started then. I'm going to um, build a, um, a big one. I'm going to build a great old big one, a six laner. It's gonna come off here, okay? It's gonna come down here, and look, it's gonna go under the ground, okay? It's gonna go under the ground, big six laner, right underneath here, and it's gonna go to here, and then it's going to connect up again, okay? So like this, and then it can page up, page up slightly, yeah. So it'll come up from under here, okay? And then we'll just have like some, okay. All right, great. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but I still think that it looks pretty goddamn great. Okay, so we want to have, like, a road that comes off to here and maybe, like, connects up like this. But then equally, we'd also like another road to, like, come and connect. <laughs> Fuck no, that looks terrible. Okay, I'll tell you what. We don't want it to come up through the middle at all. I've changed my mind. We don't want it to come up through the middle. What we want it to do is we want it to go all the way underneath like this and then come up like maybe on the side here instead, okay? I think this this is gonna be better. It's gonna come up on the side and then it's just going to connect up to the middle bit um, very sensually, I think. Okay, so if we can do like, if we get it to come up like this, okay, for instance, and then it can come up sort of like this. Is that enough room? Yeah. Okay, that works. And then we can have the trees around. Perfect. All right, great. So this can go like, connect up like this I think to here and then we'll just have some trees and stuff and that and that should be fine okay so it looks like it's like it almost looks like maybe it's like an inflatable pentagram 
with like a little hose <laughs> and a nozzle on the side. Let's pretend that that is the case, okay? So, to get into Satansville now, you have to go under here, all the way under, but uh, we, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Because look at this, we can also do something like this, okay? We can have like some roads that sort of branch off uh, of this and then come up like on these other sides as well which might be like a little bit quicker. So look at this, we can do something like this so that it comes like all the way over here, comes up here like this. Maybe not like right there though. Okay, excellent. So now we have like, uh, we have the pentagram now. We have like this bike pump mechanism that's inflating the pentagram. And also we have like this crazy like bridge thing and whatever. We can have like a big statue of Satan himself right there. We can have like the memorial sacrificial thing like right in the center, which could be awesome. Some parks and stuff. Uh, and then we can have like some houses and trees and everything just to make like the whole like pentagram thing look awesome. Uh, actually, you can probably upgrade all of these roads to be tree lined as well. Yeah. Just like to further accentuate it so that it sticks out more. I mean, I don't think it'll have a problem sticking out at all, actually, but just in case, just in case, like we haven't like hammered the point home yet. Okay, and that too. And actually this whole route road here as well can have it too. The like this this ring around ring around the pentagram. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, great. Excellent. Look at Satansville is actually looking pretty good now. Holy shit. It's got like this really clever entrance system. All right. Perfect. We now want to put the sign for Satansville back to somewhere um, where it makes sense. So here, look at this. All right. And Satansville is going to be like in a shroud of secrecy. We're going to have trees all around it blocking uh, the view of everything. So nobody can just like look in and see what's going on. All right. The Satansville Sacrificial Park. Uh, which is going to be like the centerpiece of this is going to be like right here. Excellent. So we now have like the Satansville Sacrificial Park right in the middle of the pentagram. Perfect. Uh, we also have a little graveyard, which is going to be extra spooky because it's like in the middle of Satansville now. And actually, I think we could probably put it like in here somewhere if it'll fit. Will it fit in any of these? Possibly. It'll like somewhat fit here. Okay, that's fine. It'll go there. Perfect. Uh, we have a fire station as well, which we we'll probably need to add like somewhat centrally, I suppose. Maybe like right across the street from the sacrificial park. I think this makes sense, you know, because actually if they're using candles or whatever and maybe the candle uh, flame goes flying off and just like catches on some goat hair or something like that, it could be problems. It could spell some like major problems actually. All right, and we'll have like this subway um, thing right next to the park as well so that people can quickly get onto the metro if they need to um, after they're done doing their sacrificing oh and there's a crucially an elementary school as well where the kids can go to learn about how to better sacrifice things look we can have it like right on the coast too all these kids can go to the beach for all of their field trips now it'd be like super economical all right excellent all right so we've got the services in there probably need some sort of like police station in here as well just to help police, um, you know, the stuff that's happening inside of Satansville. Uh, because there's not going to be much outside assistance. Okay, excellent. Put a police station there as well. Perfecto. We need to go underground and hook up these uh, metro lines. Because it's actually been severed a little bit. So we're going to have to just like sort of go uh, like this. No, not like that. Okay, I don't think the subway is, is right. But at least it's hooked up somewhat. Okay. So there's no power inside the pentagram, and actually nobody has any interest whatsoever of coming in here. We have a little bit of uh, demand for residential, so we could probably start filling this up. Okay, we want to make this whole middle part a park, though. It's going to be like the grand uh, sacrificial park of Satansville, so it needs to be definitely all park. Okay, we're going to fill all of this up with houses, so all these people can start moving in, uh, and in here too, and here as well. This is going to look great. God, this is going to look so fantastic when it's all filled up. All right, we'll get rid of these ones here because we don't really want them there. All right, perfect. So we just have to wait for the electricity grid to spread into here. Oh, this needs to also be residential as well. Perfect. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for that, I will plant some trees um, all around here uh, and make it look real nice like. Check this out. 
Oh my god. I've just been planting trees for like the past 10 minutes and the thudding sound just never gets annoying. I don't find this annoying at all. It's it's amazing. Listen to this sound. It's just such a satisfying thud. Oh yeah, also, I put some offices in here too, just to like sort of help uh, the area grow. Listen to all of the dinging and the donging. All right, back to planting trees. All right, we finally got the trees all around the pentagram, uh, which is great. Uh, we just need to like sort out this park area in the middle as well, uh, and then once some houses start springing up in and around here, we can like fill the rest of this in uh, with trees. Look, we got the nice sign going into Satansville. So you have to go like into this like sort of like ominous black hole that a car just sort of came out of the wall from as well. We could do the first person tour of Satansville in a minute actually. That'll be pretty fantastic. Uh, but for now, let us fix up this park. Uh, we're gonna get in here with some gravel paths for sure we're gonna like get some gravel paths all around like this outside bit i think just to sort of like help um make it look like uh like the centerpiece if you like will this work even i have no idea i've never actually done this before should we like try doing something it's, like connect it up there maybe it has to like connect like, further back what the hell is that what is that sound? What is that harp sound? It's like something to do with the metro or something? It's a shit. Okay, anyway. Um, so we want to go like to here and then uh, possibly to... Oh, look at that. It's actually kind of worked. Oh, that's incredible. Holy shit. All right, perfect. We can do that. Uh, we can do something like this. Maybe like to join it up or not even. Okay, fine. That little corner is just going to be like a total mess. All right. We want to have like something that comes like straight down the middle as well uh, and connects up like to here so that the people can go to the sacrificial park. Oh my god. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. Okay, great. Can go around here as well a little bit. Connect up to the... Hilariously, there's going to be just like mud uh, slides and everything going down into the metro station from the Satansville... Um, Sacrificial park. Look at all these dudes are out here already. They're back from work. Everybody's like, oh shit, what happened to our neighborhood? Who cares? My house and my belongings are all still like exactly how I left them. Uh, and now we have a much needed fire station directly across the street from our sacrificial park in case uh, while I'm in the middle of sacrificing this dog, he gets lit on fire, um, becomes some sort of like flame dog. Um, and also burns the whole um, city down as well. We have a fire service for that now. Excellent. Okay, so we have this park, which is great. Uh, we're going to get some like really nice trees and bushes and palm trees and stuff in here as well. Just to really hammer the point home that, you know, this is like the road to paradise sort of thing. So look, we'll have like some trees lining this walkway up to the sacrificial park. Uh, so that people can enjoy a nice stroll and a jog and admire some palm trees on their way to doing their early morning ritualistic sacrificing of dogs, goats, and virgins. Uh, of course, we're going to have to eventually have like some sort of cargo line that comes into Satansville so that we have a way to deliver all of the goats and virgins and everything as well because it's like a commodity right in um satansville like they have to order them in specially because you can't just like breed your own because you know you don't want to like sacrifice your, your own dog or like your son or your daughter or whatever you have to like uh, acquire them from elsewhere and import them uh, and then have like a trade van deliver them to the park uh, and then you can get your uh, ritual on in a major way all right we're going to put like some clumps of trees in there so that if people um, get like really excited uh, post ritual and they feel the need to have like a picnic or make out or whatever, they can. They can just like find a clump of trees and sit under there and like play a game on their iPad or maybe just like have some lunch or maybe just like uh, have a little nap outside, which would also be very nice. Uh, and a, a whole multitude of other things that you can do underneath a tree. You can throw some garbage under there. You can let your dog mark its territory. Maybe like start like a vicious dog gang in the park um, that like battles for supremacy over the local area. 
There's all sorts of options, uh, and everything is available. My god, Satanville actually looks really cool. All right, I'm going to uh, continue filling in trees and stuff. We have some filling in to do here, and then around here as well. Um, but the park in the middle is looking fantastic. We've got the metro line all hooked up. Uh, we just need to come back and do some bus lines as well. Uh, and then once that's done, we could do the first person tour of the new and improved Satansville, which is looking pretty good. All right, back to tree planting then. All right, finally, I am done. I have placed so many trees and I feel immensely satisfied. We're almost ready to do the first person tour of um, the new and improved Satansville. We just got a couple of other little things to do. Uh, we're gonna get some paths uh, that connect up to the outside as well. Uh, so that if people want to have like a sneaky walk in, they can. Um, under like the cover of total darkness, of course. Uh, because nobody really wants to admit that they're actually coming in here. Uh, we're gonna have this like path that goes like this. And it's gonna connect up to, well, I guess here. Because there's like crosswalks and everything. So now if people want to walk down there, they can. Uh, we're going to have to shove some palm trees like in these middle bits to make it look cool. Look, it's almost like those things were put there just for the palm trees. It's pretty awesome, right? No? Okay, great. Just me. Perfect. Okay, so there's like a nice little path now that people can take to walk in. And they can get across to what seems to be holy crap. Uh, which seems to be uh, well positioned. Sort of um, just on top of... Well, hell, I guess. Now, it is hell. Great. Okay, so uh, that's one path. We also want to have another path uh, here. The original one that connected up to Bagelsville. It's probably worth having, actually. Uh, and then we need to give people a way to get uh, to the park centrally as well. Uh, I don't know if we should just, like, sort of do something like this. Or if that's going to ruin the way that it looks. But it would be nice to have a couple of paths, like, through here and it just makes it look even more satanic now look there'll be like some trees and stuff it'll be fantastic okay so now people have like a, a way to walk uh, all the way through if they need to uh, we can also like hook it up like that and we can hook it up up the side here as well perfect uh, and then this can actually hook up to the road too so that there's like a couple of ways in but of course it's all tree-lined paths, and we have this, like, nice shroud of trees blocking Satansville from general view from this road, uh, which is, of course, very important. Okay, great. We want to get in here, and we want to place some crosswalks uh, here so that people can cross safely. It's very important, especially if they're holding, like, a bundle, um, like a sack with, like, some sort of screaming goat inside because uh, they're on their way here or something else. All very important things. Okay, great. Uh, which leaves just um, a couple of more tree placements, uh, which I probably won't cut out because I feel like everybody is like me and they need their full fix of tree placement. I mean, I cut out most of it, but I think some, some of it should stay in. And look, I'm not going to go like too crazy here. I'm just going to make like a couple of clumps here and there just to really sort of uh, make it look like these are places that people might want to come in and relax after a hard day of worshipping and sacrificing and chanting and because they have to wear robes the whole time too let's not forget it gets very hot in those robes and sometimes they wear face paint and they bathe themselves in blood and everything as well and you know it's tiring it's really taxing on the soul and also uh it just drains you completely you just feel like you need to have like a nice cold bottle of suds possibly some sort of like uh, chicken fiesta from kfc as well to, um, to wash down with that cold bottle of suds because everybody likes a bit of chicken. I mean, even a Satanist, I, I'm sure, would love a little bit of chicken. Listen to all the dinging and the donging going on here. It's crazy. All right, perfect. Man, that is looking great. Look at that. We filled in most of the gaps. We've got most of the trees and everything. I think there's only a couple of things left to do. One of them is the bus route, which is currently, um, well, a total disaster because of the replanning. Fine, let's get in here. We're gonna grab this, the Satan Express. We're gonna delete the line. We're gonna start from scratch. The Satan Express, okay? This is a uh, local bus route just for Satan worshippers. Uh, so we have to be very careful. We need to put Okay, look, at this is how we're going to do it. We're going to have a bus stop here, and it's going to come down here, and then it's going to whip around here as well to, like, here. Perfect. 
Then it's going to go to here. Yes. Perfect. All right. Now, all we need to do is name the line uh, and make it look good as well uh, by changing the color of it. Okay. So, this is going to be the highway to hell line, of course, uh, which because it's new and improved. Uh, and it's going to be bright red because that's the color of um, Satan himself. And we're going to add, what, like six vehicles? Eight vehicles, because it's a bit of a long one. Okay, excellent. And there we go. Oh, man, look at that. It's like all connected up uh, in true Satan style. It's all red. It's got a metro connection and everything. Fucking wonderful. Great. Uh, we're going to have another bus line that comes out to service these areas, because we want the red one to, like, look, make it look like it's like a neon pentagram sign like in New York City or something. So we're going to leave that like that. It's going to be absolutely fine. Excellent. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, great. Let us do like a really dramatic zoom out. Oh, okay, fine. We never did get around to Bagelsville today, um, but we can do that next time. But I'm sure that you'll agree Satansville is looking pretty goddamn great. No? I mean, it's, like, themed properly now. It's got lots of trees around it. It's, like, shrouded in secrecy and darkness. Everybody can get in here and get their ritual on in a major way. It's got the highway to hell um, bus line as well, which seems to be working okay. And then we'll have, like, some other crampy bus line to connect up to here. And shit. Do you know what I just realized? We didn't do the coup de gras. And the coup de gras, of course, is... This. All right, we're going to follow this SUV. It's Mary Richardson, a bona fide Satan worshipper who is uh, a worker at the police headquarters and is uh, residing at the cozy residence. All right, Mary, take us into Satansville. This is it. This is our first person tour of Satansville, starting at the entrance of Satansville, which is like a tunnel with some sort of um, bridge over top of it. And of course, the sign saying welcome to Satansville. All right, Mary, take us where you will. Holy shit, here we go. Mary is going through a tunnel and clipping underneath Satansville. It's a long old underground ride into Satansville. He can't get up and enjoy the sights. Look, we've got a red light down here as well. All right, where's Mary gonna go? Looks like she's heading uh, down this away. She's gonna make her way up. Oh, what a beautiful view of the coast. Oh my god, Mary almost went underwater. Okay, she's up and out. Where are we now? We're going up some sort of hill. Oh my goodness, we've just passed through a garbage truck and we're following our friend Kate, I guess. Is that Kate uh, ahead of us? And we're on our way back to... Wow, look at this. Oh man, holy crap. Look at all this satanic activity taking place inside Satansville right now. And it's all shrouded in secrecy. Nobody will ever know that it's happening. Looks like Mary's got a, a, a nice cushy little number down here by the beach, possibly. She's, uh, she's go- Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, my God. There we go. Holy shit. I think Mary stopped off somewhere down here. So she came up here, went down here, went all the way down here, and went here. And used the underground bit. So we didn't actually circle the pentagram uh, at all. But that's probably okay. Excellent. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with this. I think it fits perfectly. We now have some sort of satanic rep representation in the Sipsco Coast, uh, which is great. I will go back to the super dramatic camera view, uh, and I will say a fond farewell to you. Thanks, as usual, for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, the revamp of Satansville. It was very fun to do, actually. And I think it looks really nice here, nestled in between all of this other stuff as well. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll expand out Bagelsville because we have this tile now. We'll make, like, these beachside residences for the people of Bagelsville. Uh, we'll fill in this gap here as well because it's a little bit sparse. And, of course, we eventually have to get around to fixing the industry as well, which is probably more pressing than ever. Uh, but education is a little bit of an issue too. I think we need new university and some other stuff as well. Um, but that can all wait for next time. Great. As usual, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.